I don't think we are prepared, and I think it's important for us to be super aware that this is going to be a dramatic transformation. The benefits are going to be unbelievable. I mean, we are on the cusp of unleashing an intelligence revolution. And over the next 10 years, maybe 20 years, we're all going to get access to intelligence in your pocket, the best, the smartest, the most incredible tool you could ever imagine. And that's going to change everything. One of the co-founders of DeepMind, a prominent artificial intelligence business, Mustafa Suleiman, has voiced worries regarding the application of AI technology. He thinks AI has the ability to provide people access to knowledge that could have terrible, potential, fatal effects. Let's examine it in greater detail. Artificial intelligence, sometimes known as AI, is a fast-developing branch of technology that enables machinery to carry out tasks like problem-solving, pattern recognition, and decision-making that ordinarily need human intelligence. AI systems are powerful tools for many applications because they can quickly and accurately examine enormous amounts of data. Suleiman's assertion makes it seem like AI capacity for information acquisition and the processing may have certain drawbacks. On the one hand, it has the potential to revolutionize sectors like healthcare, banking, and transportation by offering us invaluable insights and answers to challenging issues. On the other side, this informational accessibility may also be abused or result in unforeseen effects. It's feared that if AI is utilized intentionally or improperly, it may give people or organizations access to information that is dangerous or even lethal. AI might be used, for instance, to design sophisticated disinformation campaigns, control autonomous missile systems, or influence financial markets. There is an increasing need for moral standards and law governing the creation and application of AI technology in order to ally these worries. Governments, tech corporation, and researchers are collaborating to develop regulations and safety measures to guarantee that AI is utilized for positive reasons for humanity, not for negative ones. According to Suleiman, scientific developments have made it possible for researchers to alter and produce synthetic pathogens, which are germs that cause diseases. Concerns about the possible outcomes of such experimentations is, however, mounting. The intentional or unintentional development of synthetic viruses that are more readily transmitted from person to person is one of the grimmest possibilities that specialists fear. In the area of a synthetic biology, researchers have made substantial advancements that now make it possible to design microbes for a variety of uses, such as biotechnology and medical research. Although there are many potential uses for this AI technology, there are also drawbacks if it is not used with utmost care. The unintentional introduction of these created viruses is one of the main worries. To avoid accidental outbreaks, laboratories that operate with synthetic organisms must follow strict safety procedures. However, errors can occur, possibly resulting in the discharge of a highly contagious artificial virus into the environment. When purposeful usage is taken into account, the situation is even more troubling. In the worst case scenario, people or organizations with bad intentions might purposefully develop viruses that are highly contagious. This might be done for bioterrorism objectives, which would be extremely dangerous for both public safety and health. Such a scenario can have disastrous results. A highly contagious synthetic pathogen might cause widespread illness and could overwhelm healthcare systems by rapidly spreading across towns, nations, and even continents. This would have far-reaching economic and social repercussions in addition to causing a large loss of life. Governments, scientists, and international organizations must give biosecurity precautions first priority in order to lessen the impact of the bleak scenario. This entails strict control of its synthetic biology research, reliable safety procedures, and the creation of quick reaction plans to stop epidemics. The ethical debates around the limitations of synthetic biology and the proper applications of such technology must also go on. Finding a balance between advancing science and protecting it from abuse is a difficult task that requires constant attention. The production of extremely contagious microbes, whether by accident or design, is the most ominous possibility regarding the testing of synthetic pathogens using AI. To avoid such a disastrous disaster, it's a complicated subject that calls for careful consideration of safety, ethics, and readiness. Solomon expressed grave anxieties over the future. He stated that the biggest worry is that over the next five years, a young individual in Russia could use genetic engineering to produce a harmful virus. He thinks this epidemic, which may potentially be purposefully released, could be even deadlier than any other pandemic the world has ever seen thus far. 
This anxiety raises a number of significant issues. It first draws attention to the expanding accessibility of genetic engineering technology, which enables people, including children, to modify genes and potentially produce hazardous species. As this technology develops quickly, worries regarding misuse increase. Second, the fact that Russia was brought up shows that geopolitical factors might be involved. Suleiman's worry suggests that someone from a nation with superior scientific skills may commit such an act, adding another layer of difficulty to international security. A more lethal pandemic is a frightening possibility. Previous pandemics like the 1918 Spanish flu or more recent occurrences like the COVID-19 pandemic have significantly increased the death toll and disrupted the economy. A pandemic deadlier than these would be a catastrophe for the entire world. Suleiman's commitment emphasizes how crucial international collaboration is to controlling and keeping track of developments in genetic engineering technologies. Additionally, it emphasizes the necessity of strong security measures to stop technology misuse and to properly address possible biosecurity concerns. He is concerned that a person in Russia would misuse genetic engineering, which would cause a catastrophic epidemic within the next five years. This hypothetical situation highlights how critical it is to solve biosecurity issues, advance scientific ethics, and promote global cooperation in order to stop such a disastrous disaster. Solomon voiced worried regarding the application of artificial intelligence in the future. He noted that those who have a close connection with AI creation and an execution are in a special position to anticipate future problems. He contends that there is a real danger that AI will become unmanageable over the next five to 10 years, and that we must act now to erase this worry. The urgency with which the declaration approaches the development of AI is apparent. His statement emphasizes the idea that AI technology has the ability to develop quickly and may even become too advanced for us to adequately regulate and control. This worry may be caused by the increasing complexity of artificial intelligent machines and their expanding presence in numerous aspects of human existence. Solomon's use of the phrase, getting on top of it now, highlights the urgency of taking action towards AI. Instead of reacting to prospective problems after they have already emerged, he's arguing for a proactive strategy to ensure that AI technology continues to be advantageous and secure for society. This may entail putting legislation, ethics framework, and safety measures in place. His remark essentially acts as a call to action for business executives, academics, and government officials to collaborate in order to guide the advancement of AI in a responsible and controlled manner. It emphasizes the significance of foreseeing and resolving potential dangers connected with AI technology to guarantee that it remains a useful tool while limiting any potential adverse effects. When Suleiman asserts in the statement, we really are experimenting with dangerous materials, he's expressing worry about the type of research being carried out. It suggests that they are working with compounds that, in the wrong hands, may be dangerous or even fatal. This sends up warning signs about the possible risks associated with their actions. The inclusion of anthrax is essential because it's a biological agent that poses a serious threat. A bacterial disease called anthrax can infect both people and other animals. It's been utilized as a bioweapon in the past, raising major concerns for the safety and security of the general public. When Suleiman continues, anthrax is not something that can be bought over the internet. He is emphasizing the fact that some things like anthrax are not easily accessible for purchase online. This ban was put in place to make it difficult for people or organizations with bad intentions to get such deadly substances. Plus, when he says that can be freely experimented with, he is stressing the value of not performing experiments with dangerous materials without the appropriate safety measures and permission. Without the required knowledge and security precautions, experimenting with chemicals like anthrax can result in major health hazards and public harm. It's critical to restrict access to the software using to run AI models. AI models can be strong and delicate, and misuse could result from illegal access. We should guarantee ethical and responsible use of AI technology by restricting who can use and alter the software. Huge amounts of data and computer power, including AI models, are stored in cloud environments. To avoid data breaches and illegal use, access to these settings must be strictly controlled. Access controls that are appropriate assist safeguard sensitive data and defend against online attacks. On the biological front, it's critical to limit access to specific compounds, especially in industries like pharmaceuticals and biotechnology. Some drugs created by using AI can have strong effects, and their improper use or unlawful access can have detrimental repercussions on the public's health and safety. Regulations and regulations aid in ensuring ethical study and applications of these drugs. What would you do if you had the power of AI? Comment your thoughts below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching our content, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel.